guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know I only just posted Fossil Friday but I had to just come on here and show you guys a delivery I received today. So my Dremel has finally arrived and I'm so excited to try it so I thought I would just come on here and take you guys with me. So I also have a plank of wood here so this isn't actually wood wood it's like chipboard but um, it was just going scrap. I will insert a video here of me working really hard to cut it. I think you guys will appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the plan is to use this to try my dremel out because obviously i'm not used to holding it i've never tried one before so before i use it on a fossil i just want to get a kind of just have a go at holding it and trying it out because the dremel i got this from zoic paleotech so i will link it down below if you would like to get it as well and they do ship worldwide and they're just a lovely company i know i only just spoke about them yesterday and it was just a coincidence that my package arrived today i think it's just perfect timing um, but it does come with a metal nib on it already I'll bring it a bit closer so you guys can see it so this is the Dremel 290 so how it comes so it comes with a stencil and a tip already but this engraver is normally used for non-rock material so it's good for wood I think you can use it on glass metal plastic that type of thing but on rock it's just gonna break so the good thing about Zoic Paleotech is they make their own tips so these are a lot stronger and a lot more dainty. So I'll take them out so you can see them. And they actually, they gave me a spare set. They were so sweet. They just put in an extra set for me. So if they're watching this, thank you very much. That was so sweet of them. So I've got a spare set if I destroy these ones. So you get one long spike. So it looks like that. If it focuses for you guys. So that one looks like it can definitely do some damage or detail work. And then they also have a nice little chisel one. So this one apparently is good for removing matrix. So I'm excited to see how that one works. And then kind of like a shorter pointy one. So it just looks like that. So they look really nice and they look a lot more um, useful than my hammer and a nail. So I think I'm gonna actually get quite a lot of use out of them. So I'm really excited to learn how to use it. But I wanted to come on here and give this a go together because I think you guys might enjoy this as well. So this is what it looks like. I'm sure some of you know what a Dremel looks like. Um, but I have never used one before, so this is all new to me. So it looks like this. Let's just take that off. So I'll come show you guys. So this is the tool and this is the point it comes with. So it, does, it looks quite strong, but I guess when you're using it on rock, it's just going to burn out probably. But um, just looks like that. And uh, from Zoic Paleotech, they have just the UK plug. Um, but if you're from the US or elsewhere, you can probably get a Dremel with the plug you need on yourself. And then they, uh, Zoic Paleotech just sell the top, the, like, the tips that you need. So you can actually like convert an engraver you have to use it on rocks. So um, they're very good. So I'm going to put these to one side because I don't need them just yet. So I'm going to engrave wood first and it is quite funny. The uh, box with the Dremel 290 comes with a rather amusing stencil. So this is to use like when you're writing on stuff, if you wanted to like write a name on something. But I just think like if I slip with that Dremel, I'm just going to like cut through the plastic. But maybe I've got the wrong idea of Dremels, I don't know. But um, yeah, so let's plug it in. I'll move you guys over now so you can actually see what I'm working on. I feel like at the moment I'm just like showing off all my crazy jumpers so thank you for all the love on my video yesterday. I think you all appreciated my dinosaur hoodie which just just was great. <laughs> so I plugged it in and now to turn it on I think at the back here you just <laughs> so it's not a quiet thing and then I'm not quite sure what all these different numbers do um, so I'm going to turn it on and just see if it changes sound. It might be speed. It actually sounded the same for all of them. So I'm not sure. So I'm just going to leave it on one for now because this has literally just arrived. So I think potentially because my master's is European or for some other reason, I have lectures on a Saturday. So I had lectures all morning. And then when my post lady arrived, this was in the post. And I knew instantly it was my Dremel because it had an ammonite stamped on the packaging. And so I just automatically knew what it was. And I had to, it took a lot of self-control to refrain from, you know, playing with it until after my lectures. And then here we are. So I thought I would take you guys with me. So I'm going to try and engrave M gems onto this plank of wood. Now I think this is just too tiny. You know, the letters would be absolutely t minuscule, but maybe I'll put, maybe I'll try a tiny M gems and then do a big one. Cause I don't know how hard this is to use. So 
this is all new to me so do I because I've got a pencil as well so I was gonna like write out M gems hmm actually I'll turn it over I'm gonna do a test run on this side and I'll try the stencil so do I hold the stencil and just go for it <laughs> you guys are gonna watch me fail this okay I don't like the stencil idea I'm gonna just let's just try an E I don't need it right are we ready I'm, I'm scared okay I don't know if you guys can see how tiny my attempt at an E is and it, you can't really see it. This is very amusing. Okay, I'm gonna go back onto this side because I need to work out how to do this. I think it's for like detail, so I can't do a massive sign. I think I'm trying to do something too grand, but that's just how I do things. So I'm just gonna put M gems on this sign if you can see my design in here but I've written out M gems and I've put a little laminate in the corner just because I'm now gonna try and engrave this all make a lot of noise I think it's my turn to annoy my neighbors um, and I'll speed this pot up and we can see how this turns out No idea if you guys can actually see this because of the lighting but it is engraved and it does say <laughs> M gems on it um, I don't know if this is like upside down for you guys so I'm just gonna put it both ways just in case to make sure you can see it the right way around but um it's actually it's not too bad to hold so because I've never held a Dremel before I just wanted to trial it as it's meant to be and just check that my hand is okay with it and I'm steady just because if I use it on one of my fossils I didn't want to like just try it on a fossil and instantly break my fossil so this is quite fun to try it's just like using a pen kind of thing it's just a little bit fat um so holding it i literally hold it like i would a pen and it it's almost like writing you don't have to press much harder um i'm going to experience what it's like on rocks um so we can compare but overall not too bad so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna undo this screw here and i'm gonna put in one of um the zoic paleotech custom tips and try it on one of my fossils Got the new nibs here and I've got a tiny flathead screwdriver which is what you need to get the tiny little screw out here to actually change the tip over so I'm just going to try and loosen this which might be enough and then it just slides out like that and then this is my victim that I've chosen to sacrifice today well try and prep but if it goes wrong it goes wrong so this is one of the ones I washed in yesterday's episode so I'm just gonna try and probably use the chisel one to see if I can break up some of the matrix in the middle here so I'm just gonna put the old tip in here so I don't lose it because I think my lovely woodwork could probably do with a few more um, go overs because it's such a thin tip I think I did it a bit too on a large scale but it was fun nonetheless and I just wanted to learn how to hold it so it did the job now to get this in is there a certain way yeah I think like that so I'm putting in the tiny little chisel one which looks lovely so let's just tighten it in now and I have I've taken this out of the plug beneath my table just so I don't accidentally start uh, stabbing my finger with this you got to be careful when you start using tools so let's move that over there so that's in so I'm just going to make sure it's off and then I'm going to plug it in like so oh moment of truth guys <laughs> so I'm just going to turn it on first and check it's all okay well let me just wiggle it feels strong looks good to me so I have no idea how to do this 
So I'm going to try and get the middle bit out here. So let's zoom you in and make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's do this. finished product now I wouldn't say it's finished but it's definitely a lot better um, I didn't quite realize just how deep a nautiloid's uh, center is it might just be this specimen but you can see how much it's gone in and I still don't think I've quite found the base yet so I've still got a little way to go with this one but it already looks so much better than before I think so I'm really happy with that and I've got to say this chisel tip for the Dremel 290 is so easy to use like this is my first time using it and I was really confident and comfortable comfortable using it so um, I really recommend it if you guys are you know beginner fossil preparators like me or amateur I don't really know the right word and um, this is a great tool to get especially if you're not ready for air tools yet um, so I would really recommend it but I've got to say I think it's turned out lovely so this is the other side of the Nautilus so you can see it's just a bit crazy but I kind of like having one side as it was and then prep the other side so I think potentially a little bit more work to see what's inside but I'm quite chuffed with how that's turning out actually. No, I'm loving it. So I think I'm gonna end the video here just because I am now losing my daylight. So I think it's probably best, but I'm really chuffed with how this turned out. And considering it's my first time using a Dremel, I think I'm gonna get on very well with it. It's really easy to use and so much quicker than my nail and a hammer. So I should have bought it sooner, but I'm glad I waited because the ones from Zoic Paleotech with their custom like uh, tips keep wanting are they nibs or tips 
I don't know, you guys know what I'm talking about. They're really easy to use and you can really get in with the detail, but it is a little bit tricky trying to get like inside the center of the Nautilus with such like a chunky device, but it is doable and it's just learning kind of how the different rocks feel, like the matrix to the fossil feels different. So you know when you hit the fossil rather than the surrounding rock. So when I was doing it, it almost felt, you can feel that you're going through something harder, if that makes sense. That's with this piece anyway. I think as I use it on lots of different rocks, I'll learn different techniques, etc. But that's what we've got. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I just thought I had to take you guys with me for my first use of my Dremel. And of course, I can, this is, Potentially, I think I was a bit ambitious on sizing, but uh, I think over, you know, the years of fossil preparation, I can slowly engrave this into an actual good looking sign. It was just something fun to do because obviously the Dremel comes with a nib that isn't good for rocks. So I was like, I have to try it on some wood. So that's how this happened, but you guys can barely see it because it's so thin. Can you see it now? There you go. I have to hold it at an angle and then you can see it. <laughs> but anyway, it's good fun. Anyway, I'll link the Dremel down below if you'd like to get one for yourself. It's not sponsored at all, I just really like the company and it's really good if you're a beginner fossil hunter, I really recommend it. Um, so I'll do that and then I'll also link my social media down below if you'd like to check any of that out. But yeah, I know I only posted yesterday but I just had to share with you my Dremel because I was so excited to give it a try but I do hope you're all doing well. Look after yourselves, all my social media will be linked down below if you'd like to check any of that out and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. P.S. I think I won't do a Grassman update because you did only see what he looked like yesterday. So maybe I'll wait till next week for that. But anyway, see you next time.